Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is June the 7th, 2019. Let's talk Golovkin versus Rolls. But remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, it's my understanding. It's my understanding that the fight will be fought at a catch weight of 164 pounds. Now, looking at film, Rolls is better than advertised. Excellent. Left hook to the body. He pays attention to your body from start to finish. He often leads with body shots. Then it opens up shots for him up top. He was 83 and 14 as an amateur. He also is 35 years old. He is not a young guy. He has won some minor belts. The NABF Junior Middleweight title in 2015 and the USBA Middleweight title in 2018. He is unbeaten as a pro. 19 and 0. The problem, in my opinion, and let me say that again, in my opinion, is that he's facing an unbeaten fighter, right? An unbeaten fighter who remains one of the dominant middleweight champions in the division's history, right? After watching 24 rounds of Golovkin against Saul Alvarez, I still consider Golovkin to be an unbeaten fighter. Let me also just add that Rolls has not had a KO since 2017 and he hasn't been fighting opposition on the level of Saul Alvarez, right? His last two fights, not his last fight, but his last two fights have gone the distance. Now he is a hunter. He likes to be on his front foot. Golovkin wants you to hunt him. Right? Golovkin doesn't want to go chasing you. Now Kelbrook and Canelo both had some success on their front feet against Golovkin. Right? Coming inside trying to get Golovkin to back up. Let's face it too. Golovkin likes to come forward, he doesn't like to back up. Right? But I will say this. Golovkin is one of the hardest punchers in the sport. He's certainly one of the hardest punchers I've ever seen at middleweight. And I consider Saul Alvarez to be one of the hardest punchers in the sport. Right? Sooner or later, walking forward caught up with Cal Brook. I'll agree. Canelo had success on his front foot against Golovkin, no question about it. But he's about the only, the only opponent from a right-handed stance coming forward that I've seen have success against Golovkin. So given the fight styles, given the fact that Rolls likes to come forward but isn't the puncher Golovkin is, I'm expecting Golovkin to win this fight by KO. The odds are lopsided for a reason. We're going to gamble a little bit here and not take Golovkin simply to win, even though Canelo went the distance twice against Golovkin. Right? Let's remember the fight between the two fights, Vanis Martirosian. Let's remember the string of fights Golovkin had before the Danny Jacobs fight, where all of his opponents were stopped. Let's consider the fact that many of us here have never heard of Steve Rolls before this fight, and yet he's 19-0, 35 years old. In other words, he simply hasn't been fighting world-class competition. Right? I also feel that this fight, by necessity, is a statement fight for Golovkin. Expect to see the best Golovkin possible. He just signed a big money deal with DAZN. 
He wants to enter that deal with a splash. He just left Abel Sanchez. And let me point out, I know people are speculating that it was about the money. Right? But I have to say, I've been surprised at the tone of some of Golovkin's interviews when asked about Abel Sanchez. Right? It seems to me that it's about more than the money. Seems to me that Golovkin, for whatever reason, was somewhat upset with Sanchez. I believe that Golovkin wants to show the world that he can be very successful without Abel Sanchez. Also, this is a point of view. It's my point of view. I believe many of you share it. Right? But I also understand that there's a backlash. Many of you don't buy it. Fine. But I believe Golovkin clearly got robbed in the Canelo rematch. Competitive fight. No question about it. Canelo, great body work on Golovkin. No question about it. Golovkin tested in a way we haven't seen him tested. Agreed. But if jabs matter in the sport of boxing, I encourage you to revisit that film. I, I just don't see the fight where Canelo beat Golovkin. I believe Golovkin himself feels ripped off. I'm telling you, a fighter's mindset is crucial. Right? We just saw Andy Ruiz, a fighter who's convinced he's unbeaten, who's convinced he got robbed in the Joseph Parker fight, enter the ring completely unafraid of an unbeaten heavyweight champion who had several of the belts. Right? I'm just telling you that Golovkin feels he beat Canelo, not in the last fight, in, in both fights. Right? Golovkin feels that he is one of history's most dominant middleweight title holders. Right? There are very few of them. Right? Stanley Ketchell, an argument can be made for. Right? Um, Carlos Monzon, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, Bernard the Executioner Hopkins, Right? I would argue Golovkin belongs with them. Should still be viewed as an unbeaten fighter, views himself as an unbeaten fighter. Also, pay close attention to the weight. Right? I know Golovkin's first choice is to fight Canelo. I have no doubt about that. That's the one blemish on his record. Right? But you just saw Callum Smith look great against Hassan Endam. Golovkin is now in his late 30s. He doesn't have a lot of time left in the sport. If he's going to make a splash, now's the time to dive in. Right? If Canelo, who has gone to 168 and picked up a title against Rocky Fielding, if Canelo isn't willing to fight Golovkin next, and let's face it, Canelo's been fighting so many big names, most recently Danny Jacobs, that Canelo... Could, could take an off fight, right? Fans really can't demand that Canelo always fight the toughest guy out there because he's been doing that long enough, <laughs> right? Fighters deserve breathers, right? If Golovkin can't get Canelo in the ring, I think Golovkin goes to 168. I believe there's some names at 168 who would be absolutely combustible. Let's also be real here. Golovkin had some problems against Southpaw Danny Jacobs. Now, that's a fascinating series of rounds, right? Jacobs does much better against Golovkin than really anybody else, in my opinion, right? Demetrius Andre is a Southpaw, right? Even though Andre is with the zone. If I'm Golovkin and if I'm giving them a list of fighters I want to fight, let's just say I'd rather have Canelo's name on that list. I'd rather have Callum Smith's name on that list. I'd rather have practically anybody's name on that list ahead of Southpaw Andre. Right? So, don't be surprised if Golovkin, after this fight, calls out Canelo. Don't be surprised if Canelo says, you know what, player, I've been, I've been running the streets fighting, you know, you twice, fighting Danny Jacobs, moving up in weight. I'm going to fight somebody else 
in my next fight. Also, from my perspective, first fight's a draw. I beat you in the rematch. We've already had the rematch. <laughs> right? I've, you know, there's no rubber match that we need because you didn't beat me the first time. Right? First time's a draw. I beat you in the rubber match. Right? We need to talk to the zone to either spice up my size of the pie. Or I'm going to fight somebody else. Plus, Canelo could also say legitimately, Hey man, I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Box Office in this weight class. <laughs> right? You know, who needs who more? Right? I'm going to fight somebody else and make almost as much money. I already have the deal with the zone. They should be happy with me fighting whoever I pick. Right? I don't think the zone would walk away from Callum Smith. Saul Alvarez, for example. Right? You have Jamal Charlo out there. I think if Canelo called out Charlo, I think the public would go along for the ride. So I believe Golovkin here is going to make a statement. Then he's going to say, I want Canelo. And if not Canelo, who's next? Right? He'll be deliberately looking away from Demetrius Andre, who's unbeaten. <laughs> right? He'll say who's next. Maybe he'll even call out some of the guys at 168. Right? Chris Eubank, come on down. You know, whoever, you know, uh, Billy Joe Saunders, hey player, you've been, you know, having my name in your mouth. Here I am now. Let's have at it. Right? So it's a statement fight. The last thing Golovkin wants is to come out and to disappoint. To come out and look 37 years old. Right? And I'm sure, I'm sure, every big time favorite in the sport right now is thinking, hey, I don't want to look like Anthony Joshua looked in his last fight. So guys who might have been slacking, thinking, hey man, I'm you know, I'm the best, you see my ranking, you see my bank account, right? Now they're thinking to themselves, hey, there's some hungry guys out there. They've been reminded of that. I'm expecting Golovkin to come out and make Steve Rolls look like Vanis Martirosian looked. I'm expecting a KO. I'll be surprised if this fight makes it to the eighth round. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.